So what is the difference between chasing and pursuing a woman? You see what I'm saying? As a high value man, we never chase women. High value men don't chase. Okay, we attract women. And you can initially so you can you can initially show your interest in a woman. That's pursuit. So let, let, let's let's define it. When you chase something, think about what what the word chase literally means. It means that whatever it is that you're chasing, it is running away from you. Think about that for a second. So subconsciously, you're already programming yourself to go after something that's running away from you as if you're some type of a predator. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the case. You want to attract a woman. But at the same time, when you get her attention, you want to uh, show her your interest, which is pursuit. Okay, so as a man, right, as a man, you have to show her your interest because you're masculine, all right? Masculine energy, being a man is about, you know, living your purpose, you know, having a mission, having a reason to wake up every morning. You know, you're working on your business, you're working on your finances, you're working on your intentions, your goals, that type of a thing, you know what I'm saying? You got a project that you're working on, a hobby, you're going from a career to financial independence. Whatever that purpose is, whatever that mission is, that's what you're focused on. You're in the gym, you're eating right. All these things are masculine things. You, you see what I'm saying? You work out, you play sports, you do hobbies, you know? So anyway, with that said, you have to show a woman your interest in her by pursuing her. Okay, so when you're pursuing a woman by introducing yourself, getting to know her, taking out on an instant date, inviting her over, penetrating her, having sex, that's all masculine energy, right? But in that pursuit, she's responding to all of those things that I just talked about. She's responding to you. Like when you first meet her, she smiles at you. She stops walking. She turns around and she faces you. Her eyes light up, her pupils dilate, she smiles. You see what I'm saying? She gives you her phone number. She's responsive, she texts back quickly. She doesn't put up any blocks or she doesn't flake on dates. You see what I'm saying? She has sex with you within the first or second date. You see what I'm saying? She makes it easy for you. So when a woman has high interest in you, she'll make it easy for you. You see what I'm saying? So while you just going through her barriers and she just make opening the door and making it easy for you that's pursuing a woman all right you have to set those initiatives you have to set those advances you have to be the one who initiates that in the beginning until you have sex with her then you just you can just fall back you know what i'm saying and let her do the pursuing you see what i'm saying a man shouldn't be doing any more than i would say 70 to 30 percent 70 percent of the pursuing uh, no, in the beginning, I'm sorry, in the beginning you want to do 100% of the pursuing up until the point that you have sex with her and then you want to taper her off. You want to fall off. You want to gradually fall back until she starts pursuing you. You see what I'm saying? And usually you can do that. You can start doing that after you have had sex with her uh, once, but definitely by the second time. You see what I'm saying? So, like, after you have sex with her, excuse me, after you have sex with her, don't call her. Let her call you. See, now she's already chasing. When she calls you, set the next date. Have sex with her again and you repeat. You see what I'm saying? Women, they have a protein in their brain, okay, that causes them to be a little bit more loquacious than men. They like to talk a lot, right? It's called SPS, SPS, SP6 factor. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's, an, it's a protein called SP6. You can look it up. And that protein causes women to talk. They're very loquacious. They like to talk a lot, right? So, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is because women like to do, set, they like to, to talk more, right? So, even on the phone, you should let women do more of the talking. 70% of the talking. You maybe do like 30% of the talking. Let them talk. You just say, uh-huh, okay, yeah, great. Oh, that's great, uh-huh. Okay, wonderful, yeah. So, when are you free? Let's get together again. I know a nice place, so what have you. Um, so just tying all that in back to pursuit. Pursuing is, you know, making your advances on a woman, 
and she's readily accepting those advances and making it easy for you. Now, in contrast, conversely, uh, when you're chasing a woman, she's running away. Okay, she, she's coming up with excuses about setting dates. She's flaky about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's trying to make you wait three, four, five, six dates in, and you, you know what I'm saying. If you if you're a subscriber to my channel, or if you got, or if you read my book, How to Be a High Value Man: The Blueprint to Successful Women, you know after the the third date, there's no third date. You're gonna have sex with me by the first or the second date, and definitely if not by the third, I'm done with you. We're done. You know what I'm saying? We don't take women out. We take them out when they become our girlfriends. You see what I'm saying? You take your girlfriend out, not, not some woman that you're just casually dating. You know, the first date, first, second date, you, you're, going on, you, you're going out for drinks. You're going out to the park. You're going to the beach. That type of thing. You know, outdoor activities where you can have fun, where you can um, close a gap and you touch her. These type of things to uh, break that, uh, that barrier. You see what I'm saying? And, you know... You bring in drinks. You know, you can take her out to, to Starbucks. You can take her to, or bring drinks to to the uh, to the picnic, or out to the beach. You see what I'm saying? Make it a social thing because you don't need to be investing in these women. And if you do, you don't want to spend any more than forty, fifty dollars tops on the first on the first date. You see what I'm saying? Definitely on the second date too. You don't want to spend any more than a hundred between both dates. And by the third, she should be taking you out i put that in my book also you might want to check that out but anyway back to what i was saying in terms of chasing if she's putting up barriers you know not setting dates she's flaky she's texting back slowly she's not hitting you up that type of thing she just stringing you along and she just using you for your non-sexual attention and basically your non-sexual attention is you giving her attention without any type of reward for it you see what i'm saying the only way a woman should be getting your attention is if she's intimate with you. You need to be having sex with her. That's how she gets your attention. It comes with a cost. And you see, women, they flip the script over the last 10, 20 years because now, you know, with the advent of social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that, right? They could just throw up a pic. While they're scantily clad, damn near eight, naked with their ass out, twerking and shit like that. And then you niggas would go ahead and, you know, subscribe to her profile on fans only and pay all this money just to watch her naked. You see what I'm saying? Or you'll just be a, a low value kind of guy, you know, and put all kind of comments and likes on those pictures. So now you just fell for the thirst trap. She's never going to have sex with you. She's never going to respect you. She's just going to determine and put you in a category as a low-value dude. Because high-value men, we don't do those things. We don't like pics. You know, nude pics, thirst, thir thirst trap pictures. You know, on these thoughts like that. We don't do that. We don't leave thought. We don't like. We don't. We don't like the comments, and we don't. We don't like the pictures, and we don't leave comments. You know what I'm saying? So. These are some of the things you need to understand as a high value man. So we don't chase, but we do pursue. And then in that pursuit, when we do get her into the bedroom, then we fall back and allow her to pursue us. You see what I'm saying? You have to start realizing who you are as a high value man. You got to be delusional, man. You got to you got to say to yourself, you know what, man, I got my shit together. My body's straight. I'm eating right. I got my own place. I got my whip. I got money in the bank. I got a career. If you don't have a career you know what i'm saying you got a business that type of thing you got a life man you see what i'm saying and she should be coming on for a ride she should be the co-star not even the co-star you're the you see let me give you an analogy you should be like the star of your own movie women with you as a as a casting director of your own movie right you have the power to make them a featured extra, an extra, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe a, uh, you know, a co-starring, that kind of thing. But they can never have the starring role of your own movie. You determine where they're going to play that role in your life, depending on how responsive they are and how, how willing they are to, to live the role that you give them. You see what I'm saying? 
And if she's beautiful, an 8, 9, and 10 type beautiful woman, according to your scale, she's submissive, she's fun to be around, and she's a compliment to your life, then you can promote her to co-star status. You see what I'm saying? But understand your value as a high-value man, all right? You don't chase women. You attract women, all right? We pursue women, and in that pursuit, we seduce them into the bedroom. All right, that's what I got for now. Thanks for watching. Hey, man, like it, share it. You feel me? Comment, what have you. Subscribe, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm out.